Hey everybody, in this tutorial we'll take a look at two things. First we're going to take a look at adding a, a text box control and we'll use that, that text box control to accept some simple input. Uh, then we're going to take a look at creating a variable in our code and we'll discuss a little bit about the different data types that are available to us in, in Visual Basic. Um, so first let's go ahead and, and design our form. We're going to add a, a simple uh, label and text box and we're going we're gonna to just pop up a little hello world message and then eventually we'll click the user's name and say hello and whatever the person's name is. So label one we'll give name as the text property and then we'll add a simple button and let's generate some code based on this button. So I'll double click it and we're going to use what's called a message box and a message box um, just pops up uh, up a little message box with whatever text we've entered. So I'll just say hello world to get us started here and run it so we can see when we click on the button that we've added it pops up a little uh, message box that says hello world. And with the message box uh, just a simple OK button to close it. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, a variable uh, with our greeting and then we're going to concatenate that together with, with whatever the value of our input box was. So we're going to add some variables. Now the way that we uh, use, the, the way that we declare variables is using what's called the dim statement. So we have this sub procedure that fires off when the button clicks. Let's define a local variable inside of that procedure. And let's change this so it accepts the name and then pops up a greeting based on that name that was entered. So it's an arbitrary example, but it's a, a useful way to demonstrate using a simple variable. So again, the way that we declare a variable is the dim keyword. The format for a declaration statement or variable, declaring a variable is dim, uh, space, and then the, the name of the variable. And in, in Visual Basic, the uh, recommended way to name a variable is with lowercase. Uh, a lowercase letter to start with. And then we're going to prefix it with a prefix that indicates what the data type is. Uh, and then the, a useful or meaningful name for the variable. So um, we're going to say, we'll, we'll make this a string variable string greeting. Um, now, following the variable name, so we have the dim keyword, which indicates that this is a variable declaration. The name of the variable, stir greeting. And then we have the as keyword. And following the as keyword, we have the data type. And there's several different uh, types of data types or primitives available to us in Visual Basic. So let's talk about a few of those uh, before we move on. So the first is byte. Uh, byte allows us, uh, first are integer types. So let's talk about this. There's three types or four types of integer types uh, that are commonly used. There's byte and we use the prefix byt to indicate that it's a byte and I won't change those as we go and, and then the, the name of the variable type is byte. This can hold uh, unsigned numbers from 0 to 255. Next is short. Short can hold anywhere from negative 32,762 to positive 32,767. Uh, we use the prefix SHRT. Again, these are integer types, so there's no decimal values. Next is integer. This is probably the most commonly used. Uh, I use the prefix INT. It is a signed variable anywhere from uh, negative 2.1, little over negative 2.1 billion to, to positive 2, little over 2.1 billion. And next is long, and long can hold just about any number you want without the decimals. It has the prefix LNG, and it's just, I think it's just over 9.2 quintillions, uh, negative to positive. Next, we have floating point numbers. There's uh, three significant types of uh, floating point numbers. Uh, single, at the prefix SNG, holds real numbers with seven significant digits and can hold anywhere from one, uh, one times 10 to the 38th uh, number of numbers. Double. 15 significant digits, uh, plus or minus 1 times 10 to the 308th, and des decimal is the last one. Um, 
can hold 29 significant digits. So that, that can hold just about anything you want in a uh, typical application. Other types are Boolean, so we can have a, um, we can have a, a dim, um, a dim variable, a Boolean variable, and this can hold a true or a false value. Remember any conditions that we use like in an if statement are gonna evaluate to a Boolean value. Next is a care, so if we have uh, our car, we prefix it with CHR, holds a single letter. And here's something unique about uh, the way that we define uh, character or car variable is we're gonna have a single character inside of double quotes and then you add this lowercase c after the last the closing double quote to indicate that it is a car value. Uh, next is string and st uh, string is prefixed with, uh, with, with str as you can see in our string greeting variable here and string holds up to two billion characters. Uh, you always enclose it with double quotes and Something that's unique in VB, if we want to define it as an empty string, as a string that contains nothing. Uh, again, we can use what you may have seen in other languages, just a double quote with no characters in it. Now remember, this is not an empty string. This is a space, a string with a single space. This is an empty string. We can also um, say string.empty. Last but not least is date or date time. Uh, pretty straightforward, it holds the date and the time. So let's go ahead and modify our existing code. We're gonna use a string variable and we'll use something called string concatenation. We'll say hello and then the user's name. So let's uh, put the user's name also into a local variable called stir name. And I forget what we called the label, so I'm gonna click back to design. Click on the label and a okay, text box one that was pretty create pretty creative. So we'll say stir name equals and text box one. Now to get at the actual value that's in the text box at the time that we're executing code, we use the text property. So we're going to say stir name equals text box one dot text, and then we're going to use something called string concatenation. This is a very common string operation. We're going to say uh, the string literal hello. So any any string value that we use uh, in double quotes that's not assigned to a named variable is called a string literal. So in this case we have a string literal called hello. And then ampersand indicates that we're going to concatenate two strings together and we'll concatenate it together with the name. So what's going to display is hello, a space character, and then the, the name that's in the text box at the time of execution. And we're going to replace this hello world then with stir greeting. And let's, let's just review what we have here. So we have two string variables, one stir greeting, one stir name. We're going to assign a value of what's in the text box, one text property at the time of execution to the variable stir name. And then we're going to create the value for stir greeting by concatenating the string literal hello with the value of the stir name variable. And then we're going to execute this message box and we're going to show the message box with the string stir greeting. So let's, let's go ahead and execute this and see what happens. So I'll just enter my name into the text box and click our button and you see that we have the string literal hello space, and then it took the, the value of what's in our text box, and it popped up a message box with hello James. So a simple way to enter some data is using this text box control. And we can declare variables inside of our uh, procedures and functions using the dim keyword and as followed by the data type. Uh, in this case, we're using a string variable, and then we're using uh, string concatenation here to create a value that we're showing inside of our message box. 
So that's all. Take a look at uh, the different data types, review, review them, and try using them. Uh, there's a lot of different primitives or, or data types uh, available from Visual Basic that we can use. And as you can see, it's very easy to collect some simple input from a text box in our, in our Visual Basic Forms application, Windows Forms application. Thank you.